It's our big story at six. The scorcher of a day posing some challenges for kids at the Packers youth training camp. About 100 children are attending the week long camp at Green Bay East High School. Coaches called a break after only two hours on the field this morning. The kids spent most of the day indoors as coaches are taking a lot of precautions. NBC 26's Deander Corinthios is live in Ashwaubenon with more. Now, if you've stepped outside today, you know that just a couple of minutes in this sun can have you breaking a sweat. So exercising in this, especially for young kids, can be dangerous if you don't have the right amount of shade and water. Keep your shoulders square. Intense exercise under the hot sun takes a toll on these kids. Some are as young as six years old. The first lesson of the day, how important it is to drink water. I want to do that so I can at least stay hydrated and not be, not be blacking out in the middle of the field. Coaches and trainers keeping a watchful eye out for signs of heat exhaustion and dehydration. Their hair is soaked, if their shirt is soaked. Also, you know, noting the color of their skin. Is there a lack of sweat? Because that's especially when we need to be concerned. Are their muscles cramping? Water breaks at least every 20 minutes keep the kids safe. But still, trainers say some are not as prepared as they should be for the hot weather. Proper hydration begins at home the night before. Your urine should be clear is what you should strive for. The clearer, the better. Um, if it's yellow or dark yellow, that means you're dehydrated and you need to drink more water. The trainer keeps track of the heat index out here on the field, and when it gets too close to 100 degrees, all the kids are sent inside to the auditorium to cool off and play some trivia. Scored 340, no point. While most kids still showed up to camp, a handful got picked up early because of the heat. Now, trainers recommend freezing an entire gallon of water and taking that with you for your outdoor activities. The Packers players will arrive at the camp tomorrow. They're expected to be there when temperatures are in the 90s. Live in Ashwaubenon, Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26. Thank